Hi everybody. <laughs> Hello from Zephy. Um, I have a surprise package today. I've got some happy mail. Um, I stayed home today. My father-in-law went to town and he came home for lunch and he gave me this and I'm totally surprised and excited. I've got my daughter Rafaela over my shoulder waiting to see what I've got. This is from Louisa from Australia. She has a channel on YouTube called All About Craft and I had commented on a flower that she had made for Jeanette and I thought it was lovely and I asked her um, what she had used and um, I actually have forgotten how she called it. it it's like a, a, a fabric with starch in it that one puts in the hems of curtains to give it weight. I'll, I'll google it up and see. I'm too excited to do that right now but and I told Louisa just to send me a little flower so I can see the the sample of the fabric and she's gone to town and in fact she had sent stuff to England and so I really wasn't expecting anything right now. So Louisa thank you very much. Um, it looks beautiful. I love your little card with the butterfly ladies. It's oh, thank you very much. Look how beautiful this is. I love it. Oh, there we go. I can't believe this. Thank you, Louisa. This really wasn't necessary and I definitely will be sending you something. Uh, I'll, I'll make some handmade flowers as well and um, I'll put together a nice Christmas kit for you. What do you say? Um, I'm busy working on Jeanette's kit now. It's almost packed. Hopefully I'll have... Oh my goodness me. Did you see the package in there, Fanny? We were discussing about what we should do for packaging and this is so beautiful. I can hardly oh, I can hardly open it. My father in law is gonna freak out when I show him. Go show Papa one package. My father in law's eighty five and he's he's completely astounded by the response I've had and people from all over the world sending me stuff. You put the volume a bit lower. I can hardly not open this. Oh, how am I going to... Oh, good. She hasn't taken them closed. I'm so glad. Hey, come see the packets. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe this. I mean, thank you. Thank you. Totally unnecessary. I'm going to start crying. And I've got my two daughters sniggering in the background here. Go away, girls. Look at this. These are the butterflies I asked her if she had made. And she told me she bought them. Oh, I can't believe how nicely you've packaged it. Look at this. This is the instruction pieces of, of the patterns. Man, I couldn't find any of those damn things here in Lesbos. And I had so many patterns and I left them behind when I moved from South Africa to Greece. But you know what, Louisa? I'm going to make you handmade butterflies and I'm going to send you some. Because I bead, I bead them like that and I'll definitely make some for you. This is lovely. It's on canvas. I'm going to open it so I can show you. Louisa, you blow, you blow my mind. Hang on. Check. It's it's two it's two butterflies. Oh, it's almost like. Um, a recycled paper 
and it's got the little salmons and the little, the little beads are painted gold. Isn't that clever? So if your beads don't match, you can just paint them with some acrylic paint and then it's got stamens of flowers there. I love them. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You are so sweet. Oh my gosh, just out of the blue. I'm, I'm totally blown away at your kindness. Look how clever the um, dictionary paper is in the packaging. Some lovely laces. Oh, I don't want to open them. You, you're going to forgive me if I don't open them. I just love them the way they are. I, I have to drool over them for a couple of days before I undo them. Look how she's just cut the lace there. And she's just stamped on, on the envelopes. <gasps> Napkins. Thank you very much. I love napkins. And you know they make beautiful cards as well. Hey, like you can just cut this out and, and mount it on um, cardboard. Just plain cheap cardboard. And then you have a lovely base for a card as well as decoupaging. Oh, they're beautiful. This one is really beautiful. Thank you, Louisa. Thank you. you you've blown... I don't know. Um, I'm astounded at your kindness. I mean, I just asked you a question about how you made a flower. Oh, here's, here's the, the stuff. She's cut flowers for me. Can you see? It's... It's almost like a gauze, a thick gauze, and then this has got starch in it. So I, I'm actually thinking that for us girls in Greece, we could maybe buy some lining or like a gauzy kind of material, make a nice starch, just buy starch, and you know how you used to starch linen in the old times? You put boiling water in the starch, and you dilute the starch, and then you soak it in. You soak your cloth in the starch, and then you just lie it flat, and then when it's damp, you can iron it. So we could actually make our own fabric like this. <gasps> Look at this. And she went to all the trouble to sit and die cut these. Thank you, Louisa. I know what a schlep it is to die cut. I know what a mess it makes. And I appreciate it. I, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Just this would have been more than enough. Half of this would have been enough. Thank you. Thank you very much. I can't believe it. And it goes on, girls. And it goes on. Oh. Oh. oh my hat. You are amazing. Louisa, we need to help you make videos. You need to do videos and tutorials. Any and like I told you, any help you need, just ask. Look at this. I don't think I've seen anything more beautiful. And there's one more in here. Look. Oh my hat. Oh my hat. And look at the flower. Look. Little cabochon. And she's got a paper, the cabochon, a paper flower, some eyelash trim, another paper flower, a little medallion. Another paper flower, a silk flower, a silk flower, and one more medallion, and then some chipboard. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine layers to make one flower, plus a doily at the back. So we'll say ten. You rock, girl. You rock. Louisa, and uh, let me just say your channel, oh, you don't have YouTube. All about crafts is Louisa. And um, this is really all about crafting and this is all about sharing and caring and you are amazing. And then there's something else in the bubble wrap here. <gasps> pattern paper. The people on this island have no clue about patterns like this. I think they all used to make their own patterns. Look at this flower now. Look, she's got the rope the doilies and then like a bread and a repeat of layers 
Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Thank you for your generosity. May God bless you. And may he keep you well. And, you know. And may everything you send to me be returned to you ten times over. Oh, I don't believe it. She did a dress form. And I, I must admit, um, Louisa, I didn't know you were going to send me a dress form. And I must confess, I never had your name in the drawer. And I don't know what I'm going to send you to, to equal this. It's astounding. It is totally astounding. Where do I start? Where do I start? Oh my head, can you people see? Look. It's, let me try and describe it. Okay, there's cardboard, big tag, pattern paper. In between the pattern paper, she's sandwiched the lace. Um, dictionary paper or just book print underneath has been inked. And then on top of that, Louisa's put this beautiful tool. It's a very, very fine tool in a coffee color. I don't know if she's standing like this or not. Oh my goodness me. And then there's a filigree, a cabochon. Look at the detail. Look at the stick pin. The tiny roses, the lace behind it. Tiny roses and crystals and a little clock and a charm. Oh, Louisa, and then she's made the dress form like uh, Jeanette's. And this must be the same size dress form, the same dolly like Jeanette's. It's much smaller than mine. My, my doll is bigger. You see, I've got this one here. So she makes a bigger dress form. So this one is much smaller still. A really a nice size. <gasps> With a cameo on it, a pearl. Oh, my goodness, girl. Louisa, your work is impeccable. She's put lace underneath the cameo and then more lace on top of it. A little chain and beads. Oh my gosh. Can you see the dangly bits? There's a key. There's a little wing. Where do you find these things? Look. A tiny little, a tiny little flower. It looks like glass. It looks like sea glass. A crystal, a bead, and she's put it all onto one of these uh, little beads. You know, the little sticks that you use for jewelry making. Louisa, you are astounding. And can I tell you something? Just between you and me, there's lace, and then in here, Louisa's added another piece of lace. I mean, she could have got away with not doing that. And some more lace underneath there. And here it says love. Thank you, Louisa. This is a work of love. I mean, to make something for someone that you don't know like this, um, I'm humbled. And I thank you. Look at the bottle with pink little seed beads in it. So cute. Where do you find that? Oh. Thank you very much. You blow my mind away. Thank you, Louisa. And and to be, to to think that this all started on a comment that I made about her beautiful flowers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, God bless you. May he keep you well. May he always inspire you. Thank you for your generosity. Um, you've blown my mind away, really 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 and I thank you once more